coming in, coming in. Oh, thank you. Coming in. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm busy um, trying to fill a room. <laughs> That's great. We actually get asked that question a lot. So people often ask us, when I put on an event or a workshop, how can I fill the room? And that's a very valuable question because it's not that easy to fill a room. It takes a lot of effort, it takes a lot of work. Yes, exactly right. It can. If you know that some strategies, it can definitely get easier. And uh, once you've got the kind of ball rolling and you've worked out what works and doesn't work for your niche, uh, it can be a lot easier. Yeah. So let's so, have a look at Yeah, let's, let's share some strategies right now. So cool. one of them is obviously if you have a database, and that's the easiest one. If you have a database of people, all you need to do is send them a really engaging email about your event or your workshop or your seminar just saying hey I'm organizing a new seminar or event I would love you to come along here are the details you can even have a, a link in your email that goes to a website or just a page where they can enter the details to register for your event it's quite easy very good I like what it else? Uh, well you can do referrals that's a, a tip if you've already got a uh, Say you're already running your workshops, the referrals work really well too. If you're running a similar workshop over and over and you're providing a lot of value in those workshops, mm. then people know what they're getting each time and you'll get people to come along and say, hey, this workshop's awesome. I really need to send my husband or my wife or my friends. I know two people that need to come to this. And so if you give them like referral cards where they can yeah. offer it to a friend uh, or if your client base uh, ask for referrals. Yeah. Cool. Something else you can do is social media, obviously. We love social media. You can use any of your social media tools, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, even YouTube. You can use those tools to invite people to a workshop. So pretty much just put the link there to, to that website that you have about your event or your workshop and, and say, hey, I'm, I'm organizing an event, go, go check it out. And adding some images always helps too. Very good. And. Uh... You can also use other people's databases, actually, is another, yeah, that's another strategy. Yeah. So you can offer a special offer to clients of a certain business, that, that and so you offer it to that certain business, they can send it out to their database. You offer them a special discount as a, or a special offer for being a client of you know, XYZ business, and they can blast it out yeah. to their database. You know what else you can do? What else? You can run webinars. Ah, yes. Do you know what a webinar is? It's an online class, so it's pretty much an, a class that you can run online. You can invite people from anywhere to join on your webinar. We run webinars a lot. We love it because we have an international audience. So people anywhere in America, Canada, Europe, anywhere, it doesn't matter where they live, they can join. So a webinar is a great way to get people on board and then just say, hey, I've got a couple of workshops running in different cities or different countries. Come along. Very good. And you know what else you can do? Mm -hmm. You know what else you can do? You can use Google AdWords. So Google yeah. AdWords, you can pay. Uh, it's a little bit of a, you've got to be careful with what it. What is Google AdWords? Google AdWords, a good question. Is Google AdWords is when uh, people search in Google, you can pay to have your advertisement come up, you know, number one, two, or down the side of the page. Uh, and basically when people click on your ad, you pay every time. So you do have to be careful and you have to think about how much you want them yeah. in the room. Uh, but if you're happy to pay a little bit, you need to test and measure. But I know because we've done it and we've done it with clients. Uh, it can be great if, it's, if you do it carefully and test and measure prepay so that you uh, don't blow your budget. Mm, good be point. Careful, but it's a very, good very good one. You know what else you can do? What else can you do? You can speak at events. So you can, uh, you know, you can get invited at, at events, maybe networking events. Depending on your industry and your target market, you can get invited to speak at an industry event. And then at that event, when you speak, you can invite people to come to your workshop. Pretty clever. I actually love that one. That if you like clever. speaking, if you don't like speaking, then that's not for you. Yeah, that's good. That's a good point. You know what else? Mm, well, do you have more? Oh, yeah, yeah, there's another one. Well, plenty more. Now, there's vouchers. You can cre just create a voucher. We create it like a gift voucher mm. um, that people can hand out. A very basic tip, but be, remember, if you're writing gift voucher, it does give it a value. So even if it's a free workshop to promote your product or service or your business, uh, you can create a gift voucher that says gift voucher valued at and you do because you put a value on the workshop obviously you know how much it's worth uh, and make it like a voucher not just a free flyer so if it's a voucher it's not quite as valuable as money but a voucher is kind of a bit more valuable than just a pay, bit of paper to a free workshop mm. you know what I think? what do you think? 
I think our listeners <laughs> and our viewers should really share their strategies with us as well. What What do you do? What's a tip that you can share that you use to fill a room? What do you do? Please share any any tips you have with our listeners and with us, and we would love you for that. Thank you. Thank you. If you like this video, please share it on your social media networks. You can share it on Facebook, on Twitter, on Google+. You can even like the video below. And also please leave us a comment below, just so you help us spread the love and share it with your friends and family. Thank you so much. Yes, and if you would like more marketing tips and tricks for small business, go to basicbananas.com and leave your name and email address and we'll definitely send you some cool stuff.